Hello, this is Eli. I'm from SafeNet Hust Technical Support. Uh, this session is about Hust DS MSM, which is uh, our driver installer uh, using the merge module. Uh, it resides under C program files SafeNet Sentinel ASP API Runtime Install API MSI. Uh, before talking about it, uh, let's see some uh, details about it. We are talking about uh, runtime installers and as you know uh, every end user machine needs to have HASP runtime installed over there in order to be able to work with HASP and in order to uh, install the runtime the vendor can use either the haspdins.exe with minus i uh, or the HASP user setup like a GUI based they can create an RT using the business studio and install it uh, with minus i uh, parameter uh, they can use runtime install API. This is the HasDS Windows DLL. They can let Windows, especially Windows 7, etc., that uh, will detect a new hardware when the, the key is uh, connected and install automatically install the Hasp driver. And they can use uh, this merge module HasDS MSM. So let's get get back to the merge module. This is the merge module. Uh, it is very convenient to use it. For instance, if we have uh, Let's have here, uh, I have here WISE installation. This is a WISE installer. Um, and in order to just use the merge module, I just simply use uh, the merge module here and add uh, the merge module into this project. And by doing so, I'm able to use it uh, automatically I have to do nothing except for adding this merge module into my installer and then it will uh, install the runtime uh, once uh, the installation of the application and will uninstall it when there is an un uninstallation of the application so it's very convenient uh, the disadvantages of course are that I don't have any control except for installing or uninstalling I don't have control whether I would like not to install if there is some kind of uh, a newer version or uh, some other uh, tasks that I would maybe want. Now let's see about uh, about this HasDS MSM. I will uh, open it uh, using uh, Orca. Orca is another um, program that it is uh, a free program that uh, I can use in order to uh, to see some details about uh, uh, about uh, MSM, or maybe I will open it uh, using uh, the WISE itself. I have here an, an evaluation, <coughs> and here I can see some details about about uh, this uh, merge module. Uh, the most important thing that I I would like to show here is the files that I'm going to use. I'm going to use uh, two files. Uh, inside this merge module. Uh, the first one would be HaspDS Windows uh, DLL which is uh, the runtime install API. This is the API which handles all the installation, uninstallation, etc. of the runtime. And we also have HaspDS MSI DLL which is a wrapper which uh, calls the runtime install API. Uh, and as you see here, we have uh, uh, the location where these files are going to be copied to. Uh, the, the place where these files are going to be copied to uh, is C program files, common files, Aladdin shared HASP. Here you can see the two files over here. Uh, the, these two files are a result of uh, installing the runtime installation um, and let me show uh, some some few details uh, further details about this merge module so we were talking about the fact that this is a merge module and this merge module can fit in uh, an MSI which is a Microsoft installer package uh, and to, to, to put it inside the MSI, we can use either WISE, Microsoft Installer, or any other installations. Also, 
using using uh, Visual Studio. And basically, when the merge module I is uh, is uh, called, uh, we create directories, we copy files, and call DLL functions using the M MSI. And uh, specifically, when talking about the HDS MSM, uh, as we said, we have these two f files: HDS. A Windows DLL and the wrapper DLL and if we can see uh, it in a, in, a, in a block diagram we can see that the merge module has DS MSM has a wrapper DLL inside has DS MSI which then calls the runtime install API has DS Windows DLL now what do we have uh, in the runtime install API what do we have here as a matter of fact this is the main the core of all the installation of the HASP. What do we have here inside this API? We have a uh, get vendor info a function in order to retrieve what is the information about the, uh, uh, this runtime. Uh, obviously we have uh, HASDS install and HASDS uninstall. Now with the wrapper DLL, this one, which just calls the runtime install API, what do we have? We have, uh, first of all, uh, HasDS MSI inst installation, HasDS MSI repair, which is uh, like um, installation, but repair, it, it's just proceed on going on an, an current installation, and we have HasDS MSI uninst for an uninstallation. Now, all this uh, mechanism is done automatically uh, via uh, the HASP DS MSM. So on one hand, it is very convenient because it is all done automatically. You don't have as a vendor to worry about how it is done. Uh, but on the other hand, if you would like to have more control about the process of the runtime installation, then uh, you should maybe use the runtime install API. Thank you for watching.